Right then guys, this is the review of the GM51 Clutch Lightweight Gaming Mouse from MSI. We're going to have a look what's inside the box, we're going to have a look at the polling rate, we're going to have a look at the max DPI settings. We're also going to go through a little bit of MSI center so I can show you overall. We're going to have a look at the overall uh, RGB effect as well and then I'm going to give you my thoughts on what it's like to use while gaming. Okay then, coming next. Coming soon? Oh yes. I have got three air coolers from Joy Shark or Joy Shark. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. But these are air coolers. Uh, Stephen Gamers Nexus actually featured one of their air coolers. It was a it looked more like a VGA air cooler, but it was not. It's a CPUs. I got three here. Big thank you to them for sending it out. Make sure you're subscribed for these videos. Right then. With over 26,000 DPI settings, with a polling rate of 8,000, with a PixArt 3395 optical sensor, you can bring your gaming dreams to life. It also has MSI Diamond Light Grips with RGB lighting. And as you know, Richard from Mousetech loves his RGB. It's also got six buttons and it has been put through 60 million plus clicks for durability. Yes, it is functional with Windows. And don't forget that this mouse has a 1 to 0 0.125 millisecond response time. Okay then, well, this is MSI Center. Now you can actually adjust the the mouse's settings through this software. Now, yes, you can adjust everything. You can make, create your own profiles. You can do mouse button actions, everything. You can do macros, DPI. It comes with a button left, which you can set it to go forward, scroll forwards, and certain things like that. Now, the DPI setting does go from one to five. The polling rate is 8,000, and of course, lift off distance. It's very nice. It does have motion sync as well as angle snapping. And what I will say is the overall RGB effect is very nice. Now, you can set it to link up to your motherboard and stuff like that. If you've got MSI motherboard or peripherals, then yes, once you download M size so that you can cycle them and it has got a, a very good variation of different settings for RGB right then so you've seen the overall uh, first look what's inside the box and what I will say for a gaming mouse it feels rather nice in the hand and it is by here let me grab it right by here and it is a very nice looking gaming mouse. I do like the overall diamond texture RGB effect on both sides. I do, me personally being Welsh, that my flag has got a, a dragon on it. I am overly fond of the dragon, of course. Now, of course, the, there's the sensor, but there. And then you get four buttons which you get the back and forward when it comes to well you can set it up in MSI center to have it for anything really back and forward you can have it set it up for anything and obviously you've got the clicks there let's have a look let's, let's listen to it now what I will say is while using this mouse trying the game uh, I tried out two games. I tried out CSGO and a little bit of Rainbow Six Siege. And overall, the click button, the millisecond you get from when you click the button and then you get the response time. Well, overall, it was very nice. The overall use of the mouse is very nice. It's quite large compared to the GM31 lightweight game mouse. It's rather bulky compared to it and overall it's a very nice mouse now i'll make sure to put the price up here and so forth so far no problems at all i've used msi peripherals in the past and i've never had problems with them the mouse and keyboard that i generally use for my t 
test bench is the uh, is a combo pack from MSI. So what I will say, yeah, it's not a bad buy. It's quite good if you're looking for a ba a very good uh, basic gaming mouse that you don't want to spend an arm and a leg for. Then yes, this is a very good option. It does come with a lot of features, and it is primarily for gaming. It does come with a very very high uh, DPI setting, and the pull rate is very high as well. So you will over overall have a better advantage playing games. Now, of course, because I'm older, my reaction times aren't as good as they used to be. But if you are some sort of a professional gamer or you love to just play shooter games, very good mouse to use. Right, so that's pretty much it, guys. Look, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, because I've got some very interesting things coming. So, this is Richard Welsh Tech. Goodbye.